I get out the house. Let's go downtown and see what it looks like. Well, it's definitely not as many people driving on the road, so that's good. The usual way that I would get into downtown French Quarter seems to be uh, completely blocked off at every road. So they're preventing cool cats like me coming to take pictures <laughs> or just get down here if it's not important. I'm glad I took this ride because I need to know where can I go if I had to go somewhere, you know? Well, that was Tent City where all the homeless people usually are out there hanging around. Nobody is under the bridge right now. It took a pandemic to get the uh, homeless from under the bridge. That's crazy, huh? If you live down here, you know it's always packed with people under here. Absolutely packed. Hey, on a side note, it's also the first time I came downtown and was not asked for any money or can I wash a window? Like all of the peddlers are gone. That that does feel good, sadly, just because it was getting bad. Well, I found one, dude. All right, this is Esplanade Avenue, which is the far left side of the quarter. Um, we call this the back way, basically, because it's more neighborhood driven than it is interstate and you know, congestedness. As if you were getting off of the I-10 to get downtown. So this is right across from City Park. You keep going until you hit the back end of the quarter, which is basically where the French market is on that side. So if you ever visited New Orleans and you know where the French market is, well, that's, that's where we're going. You know, this just kind of looks like a Sunday drive. Everybody's home barbecuing and stuff and then out here trying to go to work. That's what it feels like right now. I am seeing more police cars all over the place. Let's see if the, if I can get into the quarter at all. All right. Are we turning? All right, welcome to downtown French Quarter. This back side is very uh, residential, but then it starts becoming shops and then restaurants eventually. This back area is where the uh, art shops are. So if you're uh, walking around and doing some shopping before you go back home, this is the side you want to be on. There's parked. Looks very deceiving, but these are people who live here or they have businesses here. Uh, these are not tourists, these are not locals, like myself coming down here. Usually these are, these are people who actually live here. This doesn't look like much, but it is absolutely not at all close to being busy like it usually is. So all of the uh, stores, I noticed Central Grocery, who's big here, I'm driving and I'm wondering why are all of these Places boarded up. There's no hurricane coming. No, this is to pr protect themselves from looters. Which a buddy of mine were just talking about this. Um, when craziness gets out of hand, the stupid becomes more stupid. And looting is part of the stupid becoming more stupid. You know? Um, my business is far, far from here, so I'm, I don't have to worry about any looting, but how sad is it that it's a possibility and they had to board up their windows, man? Okay, well, as badly as I wanted to be able to take a high school senior or two down here to get a couple of shoots out the way, I'm not sure if I can. They have um, 
security and golf carts. A lot of these lanes are closed. Basically, if you don't live down here, you have no reason being down here. And I don't want to be the guy that is bringing clients. I'm the one taking pictures. And next thing you know, I'm the business on the, on the news channel, making a bad example of what you're not supposed to be doing down here. So I guess I should lead by example and find another spot. <laughs> I came down here with my camera to see if I can take any pictures that were worthy of showing off. But honestly, there's just enough cars down here to where it just looks like regular old downtown. I don't think a still picture would do it justice. This is the time when video makes a bigger impact than a camera does, because I can explain to you in the video what's going on. Like me taking a picture of this just looks like an early morning. It doesn't look like anything worthy of a photograph. this street they're doing work down the way you can see it or not and they're turning everybody around this is a one way going this way so once again I'm gonna turn left and that completes a circle huh. all right this is Bourbon Street let's take a right No businesses are open, that's for sure. If Bourbon Street ain't open, nothing gonna be open. So there's a lot of delivery trucks. Um, there's some workers down here that are, I think they're boarding up stuff, they're doing whatever work they have to, to a business. Um, you know, while there's nobody down here, you might as well. But this is not business as usual, that's for sure. All right, let's turn by uh, Frenchman Street. Yeah, all the cars that you see here are uh, people that eat that businesses down here. We live in the area. Don't loot and take their batter. All right, well, social distancing is supposed to be six feet away from each other and don't lick any handrails. Well, we can do that at the back end of the quarter, not being in the tourist part of downtown. I'm usually six feet or more anyway with my lenses that I work with. I'm not touching my clients. I'm not gonna mouth kiss them. So why can't we come do a session? Because we're just gonna jump in the car. Mom's gonna drive, I'm gonna jump in. You know, get out and we see some place that matches their clothes. Uh, click, 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 you know, five minutes, get back in the car. That's my normal business. So why doesn't that apply to now? Mm. Thoughts, thoughts. Ain't nobody at the French market. There you go, buddy. Just cross right in front of me, why don't you? Okay. So you're probably wondering, GK, why are you driving around downtown? They tell you to stay home. And I'm thinking, yeah, but social distancing is also six feet from each other and don't be around large groups of people. Well, me, mom, and the high school senior is not a large group of people. I can stay six feet away and no, we won't be looking in handrails or, you know, high five and hugging people. Being self-employed means you yourself 
need to find the business. And even when things are not under a pandemic, it's already difficult to keep marketing yourself to find the business. Um, even with 25 years of my claws in this city and you know being well known and validated and all that jazz, you still have to market, you still have to stay relevant. And $42,000 worth of business over the last two weeks has canceled or moved. So in the next six months, I really have to find some way of making money. Um, if you, the person looking here, if you know something I can do at home that can earn a few dollars, um, let me know in the comments, please. I'm gonna go look up Amazon because I know you can work from home through Amazon, but I gotta figure out how. But I'm a photographer, man. This is what I do. This is what I'm good at. And I wanna keep doing what I'm good at. You know, right now I'm parked on the side as, as if we were getting out to take pictures. And, you know, I think the police are out here just to, um, to be here. If we're not doing anything wrong, why can't I shoot, man? This is what I, this is what I mean. Police are never on the neutral ground right here. I think I just figured it out. I think the cops are placed, you know, sporadically here and there just to give a presence that they are down here. Um, because if they weren't down here and people knew that, I think that's how the looting and the crime begins. When you, when you realize that the, uh, the police are nowhere around, bad things happen. So them being around and they do have a presence down here, no matter where I'm driving, I'm, I'm seeing uh, a police vehicle. So thank you, NOPD, for doing your job. And um, we have friends in the medical community and they are absolutely overworked and overloaded right now. So thank you. <laughs>